Stephanie Shirock, uh, she's the president of Emily's List, an organization that supports pro-choice Democratic women uh, running for office. Thanks for joining me. So what does this mean for women now that we're going to that that will continue with Obamacare? Well, I join millions of women across this country with a big sigh of relief yesterday. But I will tell you this, those women, all of us, we're not going to forget what happened yesterday and how close it came to passing a bill that was going to defund Planned Parenthood, dismantle maternity care, uh, birth control coverage, the list goes on and on. And when I say they're not going to forget, Emily's List has already had 10,000 women contact us about running for office across the country up and down the ballot. A lot of those women are going to run for Congress in November 2018, and this is going to be a driving factor. Stephanie, talk first about why you think it's important that maternity care is covered, uh, is mandated coverage here. Well, I think, I mean, we'll just start with, this is, this is a basic part of family life, and I think about some of the incredible women I've met over the years who, who before Obamacare, could not afford to pay for a maternity rider on their health care and would get pregnant and all of a sudden had a special or had a pre-existing condition called pregnancy. I mean, that's just absurd. I mean, it doesn't make any sense for health care not to have fully cover maternity, maternity care. And, you know, I think back to the hearing we had uh, during all of this uh, argument about Obamacare to begin with, a, a bill that has helped tens of millions of people to get health insurance. And Debbie Stabenow was sitting committee and a Republican senator said, well, I don't need maternity care, so we shouldn't have to pay for it. And Senator Stabenow said, I bet your mother did. Mm -hmm. And to me, that says it all. Is there a worry that the, a complacency might happen and then this would happen all over again where uh, women's health care would be stripped and, you know, Planned Parenthood funding taken away? Uh, we know that this is just one battle in a war that we're in the middle of. With this uh, Republican Congress, with this president, they've made it clear over and over again that they're looking for the opportunities to defund Planned Parenthood. And I just got to tell you, I don't understand why. We saw polling again this week that shows that the mass majority of Americans do not support defunding Planned Parenthood. I mean, the Republicans right now are pushing the wrong issue and they're wrong on that issue. I don't know what they're I don't know what they're thinking, but I'll tell you what, it's going to motivate women every single day to go to town halls, call their members of Congress, and it's going to motivate them to run. And we're seeing that in Emily's list, and that's exactly what we're going to do is hold these Republicans accountable during the election at the ballot box. Stephanie, earlier today, uh, President Trump, he tweeted, Obamacare will explode and we will all get together and piece together a great health care plan for the people. Uh, do not Worry. How do you think Republicans could affect uh, women's health care going forward? Well, I, I would like them to come to the table here. Here's the thing about Obamacare. It has covered so many more people in this country. We are so grateful for what it has done. We recognize that we have some places that we need to fix it. Well, let's come together and ensure that there's better and more health care in this country and not what they tried to do with that bill yesterday, which is take health care away from 24 million Americans and strip away things like maternity care. I mean, we do need to continue advancing health care in this country. You heard it uh, just in the earlier segment from the folks in Kansas. And that's what we need to be doing. We don't need to be looking at opportunities to pull it away. We need to be exp extending and expanding health care, including Planned Parenthood. I feel like we need to play that song, um, Come Together, because that's kind of the theme <laughs> of the show for these last couple of hours. Uh, but I think that we probably have to pay for that, and that's a lot of money. Um, Stephanie Chirac, thank you. Thank All right, you. Days